Okay, so I had a spare CRT lying around, and instead of just throwing it on the ground and breaking it like I usually do, um, I decided to make a circuit to power it. I first found out all of the connections on the back of the tube, and I realized that it had three grids. Uh, a cathode, a heat, and a heater connection. Uh, and with playing around with it for a little bit, I realized that you could connect a neon bulb to grid 1 in the cathode, and con connect grid 4 and grid 2 together with a... and put that with a 110k ohm resistor to ground. I might be able to do that for this instead of the neon bulb, but that's what I have right now. And I also have a battery. Well, I just have a symbol for that. He the heater runs on 12 volts. And I'm running this on a flyback driver circuit. And it produces about, uh, I'd say, five to 6,000 volts. And I can't get it to stop squealing, but let's see if I can get this to work. I'm just using a magnet in the back to deflect the beam. Mm. And you don't want to do that so long because you can burn a spot in the phosphor of the picture tube. So these are my connections. I have two resistors there and I have a neon bulb. These two wires go to the heater and this one goes to the cathode. And here's the anode connection to the tube. It uses a small transistor and a 200 ohm and a 560 ohm biasing resistor for the transistor. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to see if I could get this old CRT to run out of beam in the set.